Hi guys. Um, today is kind of a sad one. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to say, but <sighs> yesterday was Father's Day. And for those of you who don't know, my father passed away when I was seven years old. And my mum brought up that um, her friend's children had said Happy Father's Day to their mother. And I totally get doing that if maybe your father was a bad father, he walked out on you, then you have every right to be like, yeah, happy Father's Day to my mum, the person who stayed around, the person who raised me, the person who did both jobs, right? But I don't feel quite right about saying that to my mum, really, because my dad wasn't a bad dad. He never, he never had the chance to be a dad. He had that robbed of him by his early death. And most of us know somebody who's battled with cancer, somebody who we've lost due to cancer, and my dad was no different. And by all means, my dad was not a saint. He had problems, he was a flawed person, and they weren't together when he did pass away. But we just don't know who he could have been had he not died. Say he'd had a cancer scare instead, and he'd survived it, Who's to say that wouldn't have been a wake-up call to say, hey, get sober, hey, be a better man, hey, get a good job, go back to school, anything like that, you know? Who's to say that in 10 years from now, when my sister was 14 after, sorry, not 10 years from now, 10 years from when he died, when my sister was 14 and I was 17 and my brother was 19, who's to say that he wasn't? going to be this amazing man, this father who always supported us, who was there for my sister when she came out as gay, who was there for me when I decided I didn't want to go to university, who was there for my brother at his graduation. We don't know. And that's what breaks my heart. I don't think that I get so upset that like, I'm missing him because I don't really remember him that much. I don't remember what, it like, what it's like to have a father. But I get sad about who he could have been and who I could have been and who my mum could have been if he was still here and naturally I'm, I'm, I'm idealistic and I can't help but think that it could have been better of course it could have been worse life could have been worse but what if it could have been better he might not have stayed with my mum but what if having a co-parent situation with a healthy good man couldn't have helped her to have better confidence in herself. Who's to say that she couldn't have done her degree faster and with more confidence if she wasn't a single parent who was grieving for the loss of her husband at the same time? Who's to say that I wouldn't be a more confident person, my brother wouldn't be a more confident person if it wasn't for the lack of a father figure? And I'm not saying that my mum has caused us to be unconfident, but I believe that with little changes to our lives we can become completely different people it's like the butterfly effect right <sighs> i guess what i'm trying to say is that on father's day i don't i ever forget that it happens i'm, I'm going to be honest i sometimes forget that father day happens or if i'm reminded then i think about who my father could have been and what life could have been what he could have done how how it would feel to hear him say my name. Would he have got along with my boyfriend who was a complete idiot like my father was, <laughs> making jokes all the time like my father did? That's what Father's Day for me is. And of course there's no discounting how amazing my mother is and how much she has done for us. People look at my mum sometimes from the outside or they just don't know her well enough and they think that she's a weak person or, or, or anything else, but she's not. She's resilient. She is strong. She is brave. She doesn't realise how strong and resilient and brave she is, though. She doesn't realise that what she did, stepping up and looking after three children all by yourself, whilst getting a degree, whilst keeping a roof over your head, whilst going through different jobs, whilst studying still, she still takes classes, she's such an inspiration and she's starting to travel the world again, make new friends, do new classes, meet new people, like, my mom is such an inspiration but she just thinks so little of herself. 
And I think it's because, like I've just said in my podcast episode this week, we just care about the wrong things. We think the wrong things matter. We don't see the truth of ourselves and our lives. Instead, we worry about what this person thinks and what that person thinks and how much we have in our bank account. How many trips we have in one year. Like, I've, why have I made myself so upset that I haven't gone on holiday this year? So what? There's so many more things that are important to worry about. Like, my sister, like, she's moved out and that's so sad and I miss her. And it shouldn't be that when she calls me, I'm like, oh, I'm busy. It should be like, hey, sis, what up? Because she is what matters. Nothing else. My mum is what matters. Nothing else. I don't know, I guess what I'm trying to say is that when you think about a certain time, like an anniversary of a death or a birthday of somebody who's deceased or a Father's Day or Mother's Day of a parent who's deceased, you start to reflect and you think about what matters and you think about what they would have been like if they were still here and what your lives together would have been like if they were still here and you can't help but put things into perspective. And I had a dream last night that my sister had... um, got an adoption letter and was going to be adopted and she was like it's it's cool because this this family has a father in it so I'll finally get to feel what it's like to have a father and I woke up in tears because I was like one my sister is leaving our family which it kind of feels that way sometimes and two she's going to be getting a father and I don't get a father like oh I don't know I'm spiraling but It's just weird, the things that we think matter. And I think life has a way of showing us, hey, this is what matters. This is what you need to pay attention to. This is what's real. So we need to bring ourselves back to realise, okay, right, I hear you, this is what's real. This is what matters. And I'm going to follow this, I'm going to care about this, instead of thinking about that. Yeah. Hope you all had a good Father's Day to the fathers who are there for their children, who are great and amazing every day, because I know there's so many of you out there, and I know that my partner will be one of those fathers. He will be an amazing father. So, God bless all of you guys, and I hope you all had a good weekend, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.